My name is Matt Landry and I'm in a Bachelor of Music program at Carleton University. Hi, so my name is Raphael. Uh, I'm a psychology student in experimental psychology here at the University of Ottawa. I've been here for like, I think six years now, so <laughs> I've grown used to it. Hi, my name is Oxy. I play volleyball for fun and I used to play competitively for six or seven years, roughly. Um, well, before performing, I, I always end up uh, being backstage on the wing of the stage, and I generally do about 10 push-ups, 10 jumping jacks, and then I stretch a bunch. I do! Um, I have this bracelet that my grandmother gave me, and she used it, uh, you know, when she was a teenager herself, so it has this, like, personal family significance for me. And I do like wearing it because it reminds me of her and the way she used to wear her jewelry, which was, you know, very fancy and she'd like stuff pile bracelets all over, you know, all over her forearms and such. And I just, I don't really have the same style, but I still like, you know, wearing it because it inspires me to think outside the box and just play with my clothes and play with my jewelry and play with my life, really. I don't have a lucky object, no, but my lucky ritual is... For example, if we have a tournament, uh, I show up for the game before, sort of watch the game, go, uh, what are the little things to look out for? Generally listen to music throughout the whole thing, and then uh, start warm up pretty early. Um, probably the second time it performs, because uh, the first time I was a big ball of nerves, and then the second time I was just doing what I could to uh, try and calm myself down. And so I ended up uh, being backstage and I was like, what the hell did I do with myself for the next three minutes? So I did that. Well, I have to say, I think when she gave it to me, that was a few years ago. Uh, she was just kind of spring cleaning, she liked doing that, and um, she just had this huge pile of jewelry that she'd wear as a, as a young woman. And she gave them to me because she was more into like pearls and like intricate necklaces now. So <laughs> she gave all like the kid stuff to me. And I just, uh, I had a lot of fun just kind of buying through it and checking out everything and adding it to my own, you know, to my own jewelry box. Yeah, it took up a lot of space. I want to say... Back in grade 10, which is my third year playing, I, that's when it got a lot more competitive, so it meant having to focus down a lot more. Also, our coach was, like, uh, he was the same coach from my high school team and my competitive team, mm -hmm. so it was on a different level getting ready, because it meant we get ready for the games the same way. It, uh, for some reason, gets rid of the nerves and distracts me from what I'm about to do. That's an interesting question. Um, I feel like it brings a bit more um, tradition into my life and maybe a bit more uh, consciousness of who I am and where I come from in terms of uh, the women in my life and how they've shaped me and influenced me to become, uh, to become a woman myself. So it has this kind of family tradition to it that I think really helps me be more conscious of, of what I can be projecting in terms of the qualities and the values that have been instilled in me uh, throughout my mother and grandmother and great-grandmother. So in that sense, it's a reminder to always be, you know, graceful and, and helpful and, and strong and all of those amazing things. I think it brings me to a content place where I can really focus on the game and focus on to be as relaxed as possible for the game to play. That's
it's worth following. Just knowing I had a time kind of helped me become more of this like connected persona. But obviously, you know, daily life can be extremely fast paced and make us forget all about who we want to be and kind of just react to the moment. So that happens. But I feel like just having some physical reminder on me um, to not be so involved in whatever is happening and more take a you know, more like take a step back and kind of reassess the situation from a more a focused and aligned perspective. Uh, just having that physical reminder on me helps to kind of turn towards that in times of stress. Although I'm the first to admit it doesn't work perfectly. I think that really depends because it depends on the state of your mind getting into my ritual. If I'm really focused getting into my ritual, I'm even more focused than everything. Uh, things are not going our way, like our way 100%. I think the ritual still works. It definitely takes me out of being a monk, like a monk or whatever you want to call it. Like it definitely helps me time. Uh, it doesn't work 100%. I think that's uh, a lot more complex than just the ritual. Thank you.